What's going on today guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today is an honor and a privilege for me because I get to demo and review a guitar from a great manufacturer and one of my favorite musicians. This is of course the Schechter John Brown Dow 7, his signature 7 string guitar. I previously reviewed the Dow 6 a couple of months ago so I'll leave a link up here and down below if you want to check out that video. That guitar kills, rocks. This thing is no different. <laughs> Let's go over some specs real quick. Swamp Ash body. This is a two-piece body. Some of these I've seen were three-piece. This one is two. I don't know why. Some are different. It's got a ebony fingerboard. It's got a five-piece neck made out of Wenge and Paduk. Paduk. I still don't know how to say that wood. I don't think anyone does. Uh, it's a very thin neck profile, but I like it. It's comfortable. Lumen lace side dots, stainless steel frets, and this is a seven string, so this is a 27 inch scaling. You've got the same pickups here as he has in the Dow 6, but of course, of the seven string iteration. They are the Chaos Breaker and the Colossus. Colossus Chaos Breaker, I believe. Three way selector switch, just a volume knob with push or, yeah, push pull for split coil tones. There's no tone knob because he doesn't want one, doesn't need a hip shot bridge, seven string variant. It's got hip shot. Uh, open gear grip lock tuners, which are like pretty much my favorite. They're very comfortable and they look gorgeous. I do have one gripe about this guitar though. This one in particular is this nut. It's a Graf Tech nut, which ordinarily is great. This one was cut like dog shit. I don't know who cut this at, <laughs> you know, somebody on their first day or somebody who was about to quit. I don't know what happened, but it's just cut so awful. Um, I'm going to have to have that replaced. I'll do a little close up of it real quick so you can see how terrible it is because I was getting a little bit of buzzing on the open strings, you know, even after I changed the strings and I didn't know what was going on until a closer inspection, I realized that that nut is just looks like garbage. It, like it wasn't finished. It's like they just gouged the little slots into it and didn't sand it out or smooth it out at all. So um, not a huge issue, but you shouldn't have to replace any parts on a brand new guitar. Anyways, gripe over. <laughs> So this color is called Azure. It's spelled Azure, but it's pronounced Azure. And it's basically just a light blue, sky blue, whatever. I'm not a big fan of blue guitars generally, but uh, this one's growing on me and I'm kind of getting acclimated to the color. One nice thing about this particular one is the fact that it has a gloss finish on the front and only on the front, not on the sides, not on the back, which is pretty cool because the transparent purple, the other color that's offered you know, on this model, is uh, just satin finish all the way around. So. This is a nice, you know, kind of departure from that if you're somebody who doesn't like to see that kind of satin shine up as your hand wears it down over time. Uh, it's very nice and clean. This guitar is a killer. You got to get one of these. You need it in your life. Anyways, that's pretty much it for today, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you soon. See you.